Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. In two days, I will be 60. I'm telling myself I'm going to be 59 because I'm really celebrating next year. <laughs> I am not having a Zoom party. I promise you, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not having a socially distanced party. I'm not. Mm -mm. Next year, we'll all meet up somewhere and I'll have a party. Anyway, for years, I would always be working on my birthday because it was around Veterans Day and there's a conference and there's a weekend. And so I was almost always working on my birthday. Um, I think even last year I worked on my birthday. No big deal. I work on my birthday. It's just what it is. But I can take time, other time and celebrate and do whatever. Anyway... Uh, two years in a row, I was sitting on a plane next to Art Linkletter. If you don't know who he is, look him up. And when you find him, don't post the whole link in the page. Let other people look him up, too. Anyway, so he was a little bit testy both times. <laughs> Where's the food? And... I was like two years in a row on my birthday sitting next to Art Link Letter. Maybe there's a message in this. Am I going to be grumpy when I'm on a plane working too much on my birthday? So anyway, uh, one day I was really trying to figure out what this meant. And so I thought Art Link Letter. And my sister Myrna was an artist and I thought maybe she left me a letter. And she was deceased at this point. So I went looking through the books that she'd given me, and she gave me the book Signs of the Mind several times. First time was like when I was 12, and I was like, I wanted a bike. Anyway, I opened the books, and I looked through them, and I found in one of the books a letter from my sister Myrna. And it spoke to absolutely everything I was going through. The letter wasn't so general that it would work anytime, anywhere, any way. It spoke directly to what I was going through at that time. And this seemed to me to be so out there crazy that it was, you know, almost a little frightening. Um, what am I saying to you? I'm saying... That sometimes the see things that seem so out there in statistics, what we call the statistical outlier, is the thing that's speaking to you, speaking the truth to you. And you have to pay as much attention to that as you do the, the other results. You need to look and see and say, what does this mean? Today, for me, in a period of dual pandemic, uh, an election that was contested, president-elect from my home state, someone I know, a black woman as vice president, and I'm turning 60. What does it all mean? My mother had this saying, whenever we question the validity of her truths she would say just keep living just live long enough and you begin to see some things that you can hardly believe she said one day justice is going to roll in like a mighty rushing wind and it's going to level your playing field and she said and when it does going to run so much faster than everybody and it's going to look like you cheated the truth of the matter is you've been running uphill and when you don't have to run uphill against people who've been running on level ground and you, you've you been training uphill you're going to be fast things are quickly moving into place for me so much so that they seem odd 
then I remember that letter from my sister Myrna informing me that this year and that year everything would be fine. I love you.